if this was happening to Israelis, the defender of the Israeli government would be screaming about how there's a genocide going on and the world has to do everything they can to stop it. But because it's Palestinians and Gaza experience the food shortage, these same people just want to deny that a genocide is going on. Nasser Hospital in Khan Yunus, dozens of children are waiting to be transferred. Many need treatment for chronic diseases, including cancer. Judy is six and her illness began nearly three years ago, but she was only diagnosed last year. She had a tumour in her head, so she underwent an operation, but the tumour remained. It's difficult to remove it, but thankfully she had chemo. Her treatment stopped when the war started. She's malnourished, so her condition began to deteriorate. With Israel systematically targeting health facilities, scores of people badly need to leave the Gaza Strip for vital medical care. Yeah, so innocent people who just need medical treatment for whatever are being punished because the Israeli government wants to blow up hospitals. This is part of their plan make it impossible for medical for people to get medical treatment so that they die it's another way of you know killing people uh the israeli government knows what they're doing they know that uh they can potentially get away with blowing up hospitals by claiming their hamas command centers and never having to actually show any evidence of the sort because they've never proven that any hospital has actually been used by Hamas as a command center. There are 50,000 cases in the Gaza Strip that are waiting for transfer consisting of children and adults. You can imagine the size of the catastrophe that the Gaza Strip is living through. The situation looks set to worsen, as Israel has been keeping the crossings closed. Health workers are expecting an exponential rise of diseases due to the lack of food, with hundreds of thousands of people facing widespread malnutrition. We're suffering from extreme poverty and hunger. Prices are very high and some goods aren't available. Children here suffer from acute malnutrition. Displaced people. It, it, it's wild how defenders of the Israeli government will scream about how many kids die. October 7th by Hamas and then you point out that thousands upon thousands of kids have been killed by the Israeli government and thousands upon thousands are starving all they do is continue to scream about Hamas they don't actually care about kids all they want to do is scream about Hamas and watch Palestinians die People totally rely on charity. Local NGOs are providing them with whatever they can. Under scorching temperatures, lines are too long, with women, men and children struggling for hours to have their pots filled with stew. Thank God, in Rafa, we used to help people. But here in Khan Yunis, we were displaced from Rafa to Khan Yunis, and we did not find anything except for the charity. As Israel's war on Gaza will soon enter its 10th month, 80% of the enclave's population has fled their homes, with many relocating multiple times. The situation is already desperate, 